The Orixel podcast is best experience when listening with headphones or earbuds. Thank you and enjoy. Also, this is my favorite episode, so I really hope you like it. Okay, thanks. Um, hello? Yo, it's poppin' gamers. Is this thing, like, working? Yeah, we can hear you. Wait, I know that voice. Susie? Frank? Julie? Joey? Julie? Susie? Joey? Frank? Joey? Frank? Julie? Joey? Oh, wait, that's me. Uh, Are we done? (laughs) (laughs) I wasn't scared. You know, I'm starting to see why the community views you guys as annoying. You're one to talk. Oh, hi, Mr. Olsen. Long time no see. He can't see you, dipshit. We're on a podcast. It's a figure of speech, Frank. Hello, dear Susie. As before, it seems you're the most agreeable member of the Legion. Perhaps it'll at least be easy to talk to you during this podcast. Yeah, but, like, isn't this Trapper and Wraith's podcast? If Evan and Philip run it, then... Then, like, why are you here, Jed? Yeah, cool. Cut me off. See if I care. You were probably under the presumption that you would be entering the Uruk cell, right? Well, unfortunately, Trapper and Wraith are feeling a bit under the weather, so they asked me, their dear friend Ghostface, to take over for them. Just for the week. Trapper was like, Oh, Ghostface, Ghostface you're, you're so, so charming, charming and charismatic, and, and, and I have a big fat crush, crush on you. On you. <laughs> <laughs> and Wraith was like, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry for punching you in your beautiful face. face. I am I'm insignificant, and everyone should like you this instead of me. Kind of Please, is it three when you don't like me, Ghostface? Is it, a black, is it a black thing, Ghostface? And I was like, hmm, <laughs> it's okay, boys. I'll take over the podcast today, because that's what a hero does. You're welcome. Oh, please. I can sense a bullshit story from miles away. Why are you really here? Yeah, are you perving on us? Ugh. We're still in high school, Jed. What are you, a pedo? Like Freddy? Can we not say that name? It's kind of a trigger. No, I'm not a pedophile. Today, I'm a teacher. Here to reinvigorate your dark energy. Your teens, right? Don't you guys like your teachers? <laughs> Were you one of those teacher pets in high school? Because we uh, kind of slashed those people's tires. Do I like my teacher? <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Do you like your teacher? <laughs> Wait, wasn't wasn't Freddy also a teacher? And a pedophile. Jesus, fuck, no, N-O, I am not here for that, I... uh, There seems to be a discordance within your group that wasn't present during your time in the Entity's realm. I just want to guide you guys in the right direction since you seem to have lost your way. This podcast seems to be a great place to do so. It did wonders for Evan. (laughs) <laughs> you even laugh like a pedo. For the love of God, stop! So, what do you want, Ghostface? I want you guys to talk about why you've broken up. Why the Legion is no more. You guys went from an inspiring young force of evil to losers in masks who just stab people. Isn't that, like, exactly what you do? What? No! What I do is an art, precise, premeditated, and perfect. I meld into the shadows and calculate my next move with such subtle efficiency that my victims never even detect me. I don't just run around and give people easily mendable flesh wounds. I'm a tactician. I'm the Roseville Ripper. I am the Ghost Face. Bro, did your mommy name you that? <laughs> <sighs> yo, yo, hold on, hold on. I, <laughs> okay, okay, so you telling me dead ass your mommy picked you up and said, damn, ghost face is busted. <laughs> no, no, no way. No, no way. No. <laughs> yeah, you should have picked a cooler name, like the ghost. Ooh, or the scream. Ooh, yeah, the scream. Man, I fucks with that. But Ghostface? 
Nah, bro, that's straight up dog water, bro. Terrible. Like, ugh, bad even. Yeah, I agree. It lacks creativity or depth. But I mean, A for effort, though. Um, Mr. Olson? If I had feelings, you kids would have definitely hurt them right there. Kids? Fuck you, Jed. We're teenagers. That means we're basically adults. <laughs> it's not like you act like one, Frank. What are you triggered about this time, Susie? Sending me death threats through multiple accounts? Reporting every post I make on Tumblr? Doxing me? Twice? Yeah, that's real fucking mature, Frank. You have no proof that that was me. Oh, really? Here's a message I got two days ago. <laughs> Susie, this is Frank. Frank Morrison. You know, the one from the Legion? You're a face camping bitch, and also your mom gay. Kill yourself. Sincerely, Frank. Frank Morrison. You know, the one from the Legion? Fake news. Besides, you want to talk about immaturity? That's ripe coming from you. For the last fucking time. There is nothing immature about running an ask blog. You run a what? Oh, it's a page on Tumblr where Ew, you- Ew, I've lost all respect for you. <laughs> exactly what I said. It's not like the base sites I use like Reddit and 4chan where- Ew, I've lost all respect for you too. Hey, I don't think it's fair to put me in the same category as him. Ever since the Legion broke up, he's become a QAnon proud boy Nazi. Neo-Nazi, Susie, it's different. You would know that if you took the red pill instead of the blue one. I know the truth about women like you and Julie. Thanks to Richard Spencer and Nick Fuentes and Steven Crowder, I finally found a group of people who actually fucking get me and my struggle. So I don't want to hear shit from you, okay? Besides, if anything you say is invalid anyway, you're a furry. My fursona's name is Robbie. They are a dyslexic blue rabbit, and you will respect their they them pronouns, okay? Ugh, Susie. I love you, but like, you're weird. Really weird. And Frank, red pilled. Seriously, that's the direction you want to go since our breakup. Wow. Okay, once again, this conversation is proving that I was the best member of the Legion. Yes, Julie, your god complex wasn't annoying at all. At least I'm doing shit with my life, Joey. What have you even, like, done since leaving the Legion? Oh, that's right. Nothing. Okay, bro, that's straight up not true. I got a job at Lowe's now. And before then? W w Walmart. And before then? Trader Joe's. And before then? Ah, uh, Scoops Ahoy. Pizza what? And that little art shop thing that Jeff opened up. So... That's how many jobs in the past hmm, four months? Fuck off, Julie! You try working a retail of fast food for more than one ship without wanting to blow your fucking brains out. So what if I'm floating? So what if I don't know what I want to do with my life right now? I will figure it out. You know? Eventually. Some day. And in the meantime, I stream on Twitch and stuff. It's pretty pog. And not gonna lie, I am cracked at Fortnite, my guy. Stunning. Well, while you were sitting on your ass playing Apex and taking bong hits with Jeff, I was cultivating a movement. You run a makeup channel. That's not a fucking movement. It's so totally a movement. A body positive movement for self-love and beauty and acceptance and stuff. Which, let's be real, you specifically could really benefit from. What, what is that supposed to mean? Uh, it means I've known you long enough to know your acne patterns. Can you even spell skin care? Fuck off, Julie! That shit's for girls! And like, James Charles, I guess! But still, that's not for me, dog. I don't give a shit about the beauty industrial complex. And personally, I don't get why you do either, Julie. 
What happened to all those nights of you and I staying up late and making fun of the basic Ormond girls who like makeup and shopping? You used to hate that superficial valley girl type. And now you sound like Sharpay. We've been best friends since diapers and, well, you went from Veronica Sawyer to Heather Chandler real quick. I thought you weren't like other girls, Julie. I did think that for quite a while. But after Frank came along and the spider douche took us, and we had to just, like, kill day in and day out with no end chasing and stabbing and hooking and chasing and stabbing and hooking and chasing and stabbing and hooking right it just felt a little repetitive and i started to think like well i got what i wanted i wanted to be dark and edgy and have the world as my playpen and wow it sucks this this is so terrible. This is so, so bad. I, I beg, beg to, to differ. differ. Ugh, so anyway, when the entity died and we all got a second chance, I decided that I would never, ever go back to being an angsty, pseudo-intellectual, sociopathic freak. So yeah, I'm, I'm another girl now. I'm a cheerleader too, actually. For who? For Matthew Halton! Go Hawks! <laughs> it's, it's great! No, it's delusional. It's dystopian. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. <laughs> Clearly, none of you know the first thing about being an influencer? About running your own beauty and lifestyle brand? <laughs> You're missing out on exclusive deals on all the best products. Truly, <laughs> I feel sorry for you. No, you don't. I watched your apology video, and then the apology video for your apology video. You don't feel sorry for anyone. Especially not me. Frankie, come on. You know that isn't true. I know we're not together, and that must be rough, but... But nothing, Jules. I took the boredom out of Ormond for you. I showed you parts of yourself that liberated you. I was your first time, remember? But no, that wasn't enough for you. When I said, who cares if the entity's dead? We can still kill whoever we want. The world is ours. You said- You're a fucking psychopath. Yeah, because you actually are. Murder isn't some like cute hobby, Frank. It wears on you psychologically, or at least it's supposed to. Fine, we're damaged. Really damaged. But that doesn't make us wise. We're not special. We're not different. We don't choose who lives or dies. Is she rhyming intentionally? Let's be normal. See bad movies, sneak a beer and watch TV. We'll make brownies or go bowling. I was never 17, okay? I never got to have that luxury, that comfort. You of all people should know that. So to demand that from me now, to tell me to fuck the only part of me that makes me feel some sort of power over my life, that's fucked, Julie. You took a vow. All of us did. Standing over that bleeding guy in the gas station, knife in hand, we all took a vow to be the Legion. Forever. No matter what. No matter what, Julie. How could you go back on that? How could all of you just leave me like everyone else in my life has? I don't mean to interject, but your leader here brings up an incredibly solid argument. Excellent, son. Don't call me that. That is the mindset you should all get back into. Why don't you guys just make up and get the band back together? Because, because we hate, hate each other. other! hate each other. There you go. Everybody did it. <sighs> okay, let's take a short break. The Oryx Cell will be right back. Uh, hey guys. This is Jeff. Jeff Johansson. I, uh... I'm not really good at the whole um, uh, advertising thing, but I have a perk that might help some of you. It's, uh, it's called Breakdown. See, I learned Breakdown after um, my mom and dad got divorced and uh, my anxiety reached new highs and then my dad died and, uh, and then I got taken by an eldritch spider god and was forced to participate in a game of life and death for centuries. And, um, 
then my dog my dog died so uh what breakdown does is allow you to just cry because you know life sucks sometimes so uh yeah get a good breakdown going like uh uh this <laughs> Welcome back to the Oryx Cell, everyone. All right, where were we? Um, so, what exactly are the problems you teens have with each other? Frank's a dick. Julie's a bitch. Susie's annoying. And Joey's black. Oh. Oh my. Yo, the fuck? Well, it's just statistics. Joey was always the laziest member of the Legion by far. He wonders why he can't keep a job. I mean, look at the culture. You say shit like this and then wonder why you got your Twitter banned. Trust me. As someone who gets canceled a lot, it really doesn't matter. You know what else doesn't matter? Feminine. Okay, Frank. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. Yeah, why are you an asshole bigot now? You sound like a less intense version of the guys in my Twitch chat. But back in the day, you would have called those guys misguided losers. Incels or something. No, man. It just seems like the shift is kind of random and out of character. Who sent you down the alt right pipeline? You guys did. Julie with your womanness. Can't change that. Joey with his blackness. Definitely cannot change that. And Susie with her dumb progressiveness. There is nothing dumb about abolishing capitalism, Frank. All the cool kids are doing it. When Julie left me out to rot, and you two bailed on me too, I started searching for answers. I figured the internet is a lot bigger now than it was in the 90s. Maybe someone out there knows how I can get my big titty alt GF back, right? Franklin! But the more research I did into the psychology of women, the more red-pilled I became. The more I realized that I had no chance to begin with. Women are naturally hypergamous. Hyper what? Science jewels, you're designed by nature to seek out the most alpha male available, no matter how out of your league they may be. That's why you really left me. I failed you as a leader, as a man. And now you'll never love me, and I'll never be loved by anyone ever again. But I got some comfort knowing I wasn't the only one. Lots of guys got dumped like me, but it was just the first step in discovering all the truth of this stupid fucking society. All my base beliefs come from that one unfortunate event. It sucks, but it's just the bitter truth of women. Of life, even. Frank, was any of what you researched supported by women? Have you even talked to a woman before today? No, of course not. Why would I need to? I have the truth about how you feel about me, Jules. <sighs> no. <laughs> no, you don't. Not even close, dude. Oh, butt out, Susie. Always in our fucking business. What do you even know, huh? Just because you spend all your time writing fan fictions, like, it doesn't mean you know how actual relationships work. You've never been in one. Romantic feelings are complicated. Messy. They're not cute little stories you write on Wattpad. <laughs> you think after being your best friend for 15 years, I'm not gonna know you? How you feel and look and talk around boys you obviously like. I looked up to you, Jules. Ugh, don't call me that. Why? Because you feel guilty that you stopped hanging out with me ever since Frank showed up? No. Because you did a lot more than looking up to me. I read your fanfics, you know. The writing was admittedly pretty good. But the content? The self-insertion? Uh I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. If you about. liked me, Susie, like, liked me, liked me, you should have said something. Not wrote lesbian smut about it. I might have understood. I might have even reciprocated. But after reading all of that, I just, I worry about you, girl. You have problems. 
Those uh, were supposed to be private. Putting them on archive of our own? Yeah, that's real fucking private. <laughs> that's the real reason you don't like Frank, right? Jealousy? <laughs> yeah. Love you too, sister. Mwah. You know what? Fuck you, Julie! I write fanfics of everyone, okay? Yo. Everyone? Oh, yeah, all of the killers. Yeah. Well, except, <laughs> you know, one of them. What the fuck? Fan fiction? Why? We're monsters! Some of us literal monsters, like Demogorgon and whatever the fuck Pyramid Head is. Well, yeah, but, I mean, they're still people, mostly. And shipping is just fun! It's fun to think about relationships, especially if you're too afraid to be in one. Susie? If I may interject, mm -hmm. who exactly do you ship? Oh, well, <laughs> my favorite one's probably Wraith X Trapper. I know it's basic, but they're the obvious endgame ship now that Wraith X Nurse is dead. Literally. But, um, I also like Pig X Deathslinger, Spirit X Yui, Blight X Doctor. I mean, they're all pretty great. Do I have any ships? Oh, um... I mean, not really, since you're pretty generally unlikable and annoying. At least, according to the other killers. <laughs> not me. Well, come on, that can't be accurate. Nope, she's right about that one. Pretty spot on, I would say. Ha <laughs> ha, yes sir! Oh, teenagers. But, um, uh, you do get shipped with Myers quite a bit. People ship me with the shape? Yep. Although, personally, I think Ghostface x Trickster might be a bit more interesting of a couple. You're artists, you love attention, you're serial killers, you're narcissists, you actually enjoyed your time in the Entity's realm. I mean, I'm surprised you haven't dated yet. You guys have so much in common. We are polar opposites. <sighs> Forget I asked. Let's get back to the topic at hand. What topic? Susie's weird obsession with the Dead by Daylight fandom? I mean, I wouldn't say it's an obsession. But the pig is my non-binary bisexual comfort character, and I also can vitiligo trans mass huntress. Megan, you speak English, bro! God damn! I can't understand what you're saying, bro! Well, you guys would if you, like, took some time to listen to me for once. When I left the Legion, I found out I actually fit in with those quirky, horny, socially awkward furries on Tumblr. They get me. They get my neo-pronouns, my change.org petitions, and they get what it's like to be too shy to stand up for yourself. They gave me the confidence to start doing so when Frank hacked my Twitter for the fourth time. So, no, I, I don't want to go back to the Legion. Not if it's going to be like it was. Oh, come now, Susie dear. You don't have any good memories with your friends? I would love to have friends to kill with. You don't miss it? Not at all? Even if we did have a lot of good times. A and you guys were the first people to help me get out of my shell. And I probably would have killed myself if it had not been for your friendship and support at the time. I, I, I don't want to go back to the Legion. Not at all. Yeah, totally. I don't need the Legion either. The beauty community is like super positive and totally for sure not toxic whatsoever. I love being a social media influencer to fill the Legion shape void in my heart. I love all the positive comments I get about how ugly I am. I just love selling makeup to girls who put on a confident front, but deep down think they're ugly inside and out. <laughs> just like me. Yeah, that community just really speaks to me. Screw the Legion. I don't like miss you guys at all. I wasted my time with all of you. All the time I spent teaching you guys how to hotwire a car, showing you the most time efficient way to graffiti a building, going to the store with you jewels and stealing our leather jackets to look cool when we burn down those abandoned buildings. Those, those were good times. B but a waste of time, definitely. Doesn't matter that you guys are by far the best part of my life, the happiest part of my bleak fucking existence. 
I don't miss the Legion. I don't miss the Legion at all. Well, I do. Joey? I've just been really, really lonely without you guys. I don't have a fancy new community. I don't have friends. I mean, I thought about joining Adam, Claudette, and Elodie since they're with the Black Lives Matter and everything, but eh, I'm just not political like Frank or Susie, and I certainly don't have the influence that Julie has. Honestly, man, I just, I feel like I peaked in high school, back when I was with the Legion, you know, and without you guys, I just... I feel like I don't have a reason to be here. I feel lost. Joey, that's... I didn't know you were... <laughs> Susie, are you crying? <laughs> Damn it, I miss you guys too. <laughs> I'm tired of making fursuits! I'm tired of getting hit on by Discord mods. I'm tired of having no one to be there for me when I'm too scared to ask for extra guac. I, I just want to be Legion again. No matter how toxic and problematic we all are. You guys are just my friends. <laughs> You're my family. <laughs> OMG, Susie, stop crying. It's like bad for your skin. Actually, no. I think I look rather good after I cry. So, photogenic. God, why am I like this? I don't really care about skincare. I don't care about makeup. I care about serial killer lore and metal music and, and all of you. I care about you guys. I care about you guys. You guys accept me for who I am no matter who I am. I want to be the baddest bitch in the Legion again. No offense, Susie. Julie. <laughs> You're a bitch, but I still love you. <laughs> I love you too, girl. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no homo, but I love you guys too. All of you, man, all of you. <laughs> well, Frank? You know what? Maybe following offensive meme pages isn't actually a personality trait. Maybe. Maybe women aren't actually evil. Maybe, maybe I only let that red pill bullshit get to me because I was lonely and wanted an excuse for why, I think. I think being with you guys, that's a hell of a lot more fulfilling. <laughs> Let's get the band back together. The Legion is back, baby. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Man, fuck yeah! I got a soundboard to sound for this. Hang on, hang on. I got it, I got it. Strike, break, mic. Yeah! Let's go! Well, would you look at that? I've saved the day. I have returned a force of evil to the world thanks to my excellent podcast hosting abilities. You didn't do anything. Like, literally nothing. Yeah, we sorted this out by ourselves, mostly. And, and yo, when the fuck... Did Ghostface get here? Thanks to me and only me, the Legion is back together. All's well that ends well. There is truly no one greater than... Danny Johnson! Open this door right fucking now! What's, What's going, going on? on? Is that Evan? Who the fuck is Danny? Oh, would you look at that? It's time for another sponsor. Bye, everyone. Remember, I'm always listening, yada yada yada. I'll see you in the fall. Fuck! You, Danny. Hey guys, this is Jeff, again. Jeff Johansson, again. And, um, uh, and, 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 damn it! I'm here to give you another perk. This one, um, 
This one is called Aftercare. Aftercare, it, uh, it actually goes really well with Breakdown. Why? Because after you feel like you're in the lowest place you can be, Aftercare allows you to get through that dark time with the power of, of people you really care about. Aftercare lets you keep tabs on all the people that have helped you so you can help them too. Cause, cause we're all in this together, man. And if you're feeling low, you gotta have people to care for you. To, um, aftercare for you. Uh, oh, that was a bad pun. But still, if you're experiencing depression, just know you're not alone. And know that there are people out there that love you and want you to stick around. So, uh, yeah, buy aftercare. Actually, you know what? No. Fuck capitalism right now. This is not the time. Fuck aftercare. Just go out there and hug your friends, damn it. Tell them that you love them. You never know who needs to hear it. This is, uh, this has been Jeff Johansson, and, uh, just know you're not alone. Take care of yourself, guys. Ghostface, open this door right fucking now, or else I'll bust it down. I swear I will. Uh, Evan, I, I, I can just get the key from the other room. I don't think you need to do it. I'm going to count to three. One. Uh, Evan, what? Two. It, it's not a breakable wall, Evan. You don't have to. Fuck it. Oh, come on, dude. What the actual fuck? He's gone again. How is that even possible? There's only one way in and out of this room. Uh, I don't know. Entity magic, perhaps? Or maybe all his goddamn plot armor. Uh, who wrote this script? And why can't my accent stay the same for more than one episode, eh? What's wrong with that? What's, what's going on there? God damn. <sighs> Uh, well, we might as well start the podcast now that we know he's done bothering us for the day. Can't believe that motherfucker had the audacity to lock us out of our own fucking house! He is relentless. I mean, barricading all of the entrances and exits? Uh, that's a bit extreme. God, does that fucker have schematics on our house or something? He even managed to bypass the code I put in on the back door. Well, to be fair, you should probably have a better password than one, two, three, four. Why? That's a password I use for everything. Evan. Oh. Okay, maybe... Okay, maybe I should change that. <sighs> How many more episodes do we have this season? Well, hey, at least no one else knows about that besides you and me. Hi, Evan! Hi, Philip! It's nice to hear from you guys again. Frankie, you're getting his credit card info, right? Way ahead of you. Oh, the members of the Legion are here. Uh, how long have you guys been...? <laughs> long enough to make a small fortune, apparently. Just a little bit of wealth redistribution. Sticking it to the man. <laughs> Uh, I missed it when you talked dirty like that. <laughs> I, I didn't. didn't. So I am assuming Danny already interviewed all of you? <laughs> yes, sir! After two whole weeks, the Legion is finally back together, man. Oh, cool. Good for you guys, I guess. I mean, hell, you're just kids. Uh, what could go wrong? Tons! We're gonna start vandalizing again. <laughs> Um, maybe loot some stores! <laughs> Wait. And start killing again! <laughs> well, <laughs> no. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe I'll kill again and you guys can just watch? All right, I'm okay with that. Fuck it, sounds good. <gasps> Guys, wait. We can put the whole thing on TikTok for clout. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not, not TikTok. TikTok. Oh, ghost face, you madman. What have you done? Does he not know what he has unleashed onto the world? The strongest force of evil on the planet, baby. 
Teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Eva, we've got to make like the Catholic Church and guide these youths in the right direction before... Come on, Legion. Let's all go somewhere and jaywalk. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> 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 Hey, old man, you just walked the prank! <laughs> Dear God, we're too late. Too wild. He's over. <laughs> Ghostface, you son of a... <laughs> well, that's all the time we have today for the Oryx Cell. What? You can't end the podcast for us. Tune in next week when we talk to the Nightmare, the Pig, the Shape, and the Trickster. Ugh, Danny, would you leave us alone b Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Danny, would you leave us alone before the- Evan, why the fuck is that your ringtone? Hello? Yes, this is Evan. Evan McMillan. Who? Oh. Oh, okay. What? What? All of it. No, no, no. Listen, there is no way I spent all of my inheritance money on pizza. What? There has to be a mistake. What? How is it under my card? Who the hell? Mm. <laughs> I'll see you in the fog. Thank you for listening to episode 7 of 10 of the Orixel podcast. This episode was written, directed, and produced by Solomon Troop. The role of Frank was played by Braden Wharton. The role of Joey was played by Anthony Kay. Oh my god, that's the same guy who does the music. Wow, look at that. The role of Julie was played by Amber Churning. The role of Susie was played by Emily Rose. The role of the ghost face was played by Jacob Lentini. The role of the Wraith was played by Solomon Troop. The role of the Trapper was played by Anthony Ray Morales. And the role of Jeff was played by M.P. Silberman. Some of the music heard in this episode was composed by Anthony Kay. Oh my god, he also voiced Joey, isn't that crazy? Some of it wasn't. Links below for proper credit. Art of this episode's cast was drawn by James Giannico. New episodes of the Oryx Cell release every other Thursday at 6 p.m. EST, but there are also animatics, lore readings, behind the scenes, and other awesome content between uploads of the main story. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any new releases. In addition to posting it to YouTube, the Oryx Cell podcast can also be streamed on Spotify, SoundCloud, Anchor, and probably some other places too. Uh, check the description, and as always, share it with your friends. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Tumblr for updates, as well as joining our Discord server, The Trooperverse, to talk to cast, crew, and anyone who enjoys what we do here. Links below in the description. Dead by Daylight is the intellectual property of Behavior Interactive. Oh, copyright and fair use. Yeah, parody, yeah. This episode was like the most shit posty out of all the ones I've made, and trust me, I know how the series ends. It it, this is the most shit posted so far. So, um, anyway, if you really, if you actually liked it, I'm so surprised. <laughs> Can't wait for the whole DVD community to be like, why'd you make Frank a Nazi? Because I can. It's my fan fiction, okay? And racist boys are cute. You, you can quote me on that when I run for office. <laughs> Speaking of racist boys, let's thank our Kickstarter backers. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Jonathan Troop, Arisa Luca, Nikki Ahrens, James Zianico, Eli, Elias, Kendrick, Kim, Blueface, HP Laptop, Marble Slab King, Destiny Lore, Ah, Life is Strange, Henderson III, Mike Flink, Shelby Richards, George Regent, Rico Shea, Jared A.K. Derpman, Cassandra Rodabal, Hunter A.K. Mudkips, Jacob Lentini, Baruch Belmont, and Pixelbush A.K. Will A.K. The Lore Guy. Thank you again for listening. Share this project with a friend, the algorithm will boost us. And as always, we'll see you in the fog. I need meds, like several of them. <laughs> <laughs>